Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this homepage over here using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In the previous video, we completed designing the desktop version. Now in this video, we will make this responsive. So let's get started. Now before starting with the responsive version, let's make these menu items work. So when we click on this uh, about us, we need to go to the about us section of our website. So let's go to our source code. And here we have the about us link. And if you scroll down here, we can see that we have this section with an ID of about us. So we can link this ID to our link over here. So let's type about over here and uh, let's save this. Now if we click on this about us link, we are taken to the about us section. Now we need to smoothly go to that section. So for that, let's go back and let's go to the CSS. And let's add a style to the HTML. So let's tap HTML, scroll behavior, and let's set it to smooth. And now let's go back. And if I click on this about us link, we are smoothly taken to that place. Right now, let's do the same for all the other sections. So here we have services. So I'll just type hash services over here. And for blog, let's type hash blog. And here let's tap contact us or contact. Right now, let's scroll down and let's see whether we have the correct IDs uh, for the section so let's scroll down and here we have the services section we have the correct id and then we have the y section and we don't have any menu items for that so let's move on and here we have the block section so we have the correct id and then for the contact also we have the correct id so everything is working all right let's click on these uh, menu items and uh, let's see whether everything is working all right so for services it is not working correctly so let's go to the services section and here we have services as the ID. Let's scroll up and uh, here we have services. So this should work. Right now it is working. So we have the about us, services, blog and contact us. So everything is working all right. All right, now let's start making this responsive. So let's go to our CSS and uh, let's add a media query. Let's tap at media. And let's set the max width to 1100 pixels. So whenever the screen width is less than 1100 pixels, these CSS styles will be added to our design. So the first thing we will do is uh, we will set the font size of the H1 to 48 pixels. So let's go back. And now let's reduce the width of the browser window. And now we can see that we have this smaller font size. And let's go back. And uh, the next thing we will do is for the header image, we will change the width. So let's type header and we have the right division and in that we have the IMG tag. So let's type width and uh, let's set it to 280 pixels. And this is how it looks. So this is for tablet screens and this is for desktop version. And let's scroll down and let's see whether we have any problems for the other sections. So everything is looking all right. We have these services wrapping to the next row. So we don't have any more problems in the tablet version. Let's go to the mobile version. So let's reduce the screen width even more. And now let's add a media query for smartphones. So let's tap at media. And let's set the max width to 800 pixels. So whenever the screen width is less than 800 pixels, these styles will be added. So the first thing we will do is we will set the font size of the H1 to 36 pixels. And let's set the line height to 120%. And uh, for the container, we have set a max width over here. So here we can see for the container, we have set a max width of 1200 pixels. So for smaller screens, let's type container. And uh, let's set the max width to 700 pixels. Now let's also change the styles of the H2 and S3. So here we have the H2. So let's type H2 and uh, let's set the font size to 28 pixels and line height to 130%. And uh, let's style the S3. So let's type S3 and uh, let's set the font size to 20 pixels. Right now let's start with the styling of the nav. So we have the nav element and for the nav element, we need to hide these uh, menu items from here. So let's go to our HTML file and uh, here we can see we have this division with the class of menu items. So let's hide that. 
I'll just type nav menu items display of none and now we need to display a menu icon over here so for that let's go back and here in the HTML and let's go outside the menu items division and let's create a division with the class of menu icon now here I'll just add an image that I have over here called menu icon dot SVG so let's add that over here I'll just create an IMG tag and let's type images forward slash menu icon dot SVG and now let's go to a styler CSS file and uh, what we need to do is we need to hide it in the desktop version so here let's type hidden elements and here let's type menu icon and let's set the display to none and here in smaller screens let's type menu icon and let's set the display to block so if you are on desktop version we don't have the menu icon displayed but on smaller screens we have it displayed now here if we go back to the style CSS file and uh, here if we add a background color let's type red now we can see that we don't have much spacing around the icon so let's add a padding of let's try two pixels so that the user has some space to touch on this icon so let's remove this and let's set the cursor to pointer and this is the menu icon now let's start with the hero section so for the hero section we have this header and if you go to a style CSS file and if you go to the header here we can see that for the header right division where we have the image this is the division right here so for this division we had set a position of absolute and now what we need to do is we need to remove the position absolute from this right division so let's go ahead and do that so let's scroll down and uh, here let's add a comment I'll just type header and uh, here let's type header right and let's set the position to relative and now we need to bring this text content and this image one below the other so for that let's go ahead and target the header and uh, let's set the flex direction to column and now the image is at the bottom so let's change this to column reverse now the image is at the top and the text content at the bottom and right now we have a fixed height for this header so let's set the height to auto and let's add a gap of 20 pixels between the elements and let's set the max height to fit content so it will fit all the content of our uh, header right now let's go ahead and style this image so let's type header right img and let's set the width to 70 percent and let's set the height to auto and let's add a border radius of 0 0 30 percent 30 percent and let's bring this to the center so here for the right division let's type justify content center and let's set the display to flex and now it is in the center now if you go back to the CSS of the desktop version here for the header for the left division we have set a max width of 50% now we need to change it back to 100% so let's go over here and uh, let's type header left and let's set the max width to 100% and with that we have styled the header of our website and uh, let's also add some padding bottom over here so let's go to the header and uh, let's add a padding bottom of 60 pixels and now everything looks all right and now for the featured section let's go ahead and uh, reduce the gap a little bit so let's go over here and uh, let's type featured and uh, here let's type featured logos and let's set a gap of 36 pixels and now for the images inside the featured division let's go ahead and set a height so let's type featured img and let's set the height to 28 pixels right now let's style the about us section so here we can see that we have the text content and the image side by side now we need to display them one below the other so let's add a comment i'll just type about and uh, here let's type hash about which is the id for the about section and uh, if you go to the html file let's go to the about section and uh, here for the about section we have the container division and in that we have the left and the right divisions so let's target the container so let's type dot container over here and uh, let's set the flex direction to column and now we can see that the content are one below the other now here we have these two elements which are the features container so here we can see that in the HTML file we have this division with the class of features container and in that we have these two features so let's bring that also one below the other so here let's type hash about or oh, let's go ahead and 
target it directly because we have the same division down here as well so let's go ahead and directly target the features container so let's start features container and let's set the flex direction to column and now we can see everything looks all right in the about us section right now let's go to the services section and here we have everything being displayed correctly so let's move on to the next section which is the why chooser section so for that we have an idea of why so let's type why choose us section and let's tap hash why and i think in that also we have a container so let's scroll down and here we can see inside the y division we have the container and in that we have the left and the right divisions so let's add y dot container and here let's type flex direction of column and now we can see that we have it displayed correctly so we have the features also being displayed correctly because we have directly targeted the features container over here right now let's go to the next section which is the block section and everything is looking all right over here let's go to the contact section and for the contact us section let's bring these name and email input fields one below the other so if you go to the contact section in the html here we can see that we have this uh, group we have this division of the class of group and that we have these two input fields so let's target this group here let's type form group and let's set the flex direction to column and now we can see that the fields are one below the other and let's scroll down and lastly we have the footer so let's style the footer i'll just create a comment i'll just have footer over here and here the first thing we will do is uh, we will bring these uh, two elements the left and the right section so if you go to the html file and if you go to the footer here we can see we have this division of the class of top and in that we have the left and the right section so let's target the top division so just tap footer top and let's set the flex direction to column and now we can see that they are one below the other for the footer we can see that we have set a padding of 60 pixels top and bottom and uh, 32 pixels left and right now for the left and right we don't want to have any padding because uh, the padding is already added in the container division so what we will do is let's tap footer and let's add a padding of 40 pixels top and bottom and uh, zero for left and right and this is how the footer looks and the last thing we will do is we will add some margin top for this uh, copyright division so let's tap footer copyright margin top and let's set it to 40 pixels and it is looking all right so that's basically it with the mobile version of our website now in the next video we will create the mobile menu item so when we click on this menu icon we want to display the mobile menu items over here and uh, when we click on the close button it should close so we will do all of that in the next video so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Wow.